Here are some of the female spies from the American Civil War. This is a picture of Pauline Cushman. She was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. She is a loyal unionist and she entered the Secret Service as a spy and the Union used her in the Western Theater. This is a picture of Rose O'Neill Greenham. She was born in Montgomery County and she was a loyal Confederate. She was one of the most renowned spies during the American Civil War. This is a picture of Sarah Emma Edmonds. She's born in Canada and she was a Union spy. During the American Civil War, she disguised herself as a man, and she went by the name of Franklin T. Thompson. This is Belle Boyd. She was born in West Virginia, and she was a Confederate. She operated spy operations from her father's hotel in Front Royal. So now you ask. What do all these female spies have in common? Well, we'll tell you momentarily. Either side didn't expect a female to be a spy, so the females could move around quietly and easily without being thought of as suspicious, and they could get the information and give that information to the side that they were originally on. But what happens when they get caught? When women were caught spying, they were usually taken captive and or hanged. Bye. You're better than the best I'm lucky just to linger in your light Cooler than the flip side of my pillow That's right Completely unaware 